NZXT Cam. Monitor your games while playing. To learn more about it, check out the description. Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and it is time for Badger's Picks for the week of March 29th. We're going to see who's free this week and which four champions I am going to recommend you try out. Free this week, we will be seeing Bard, Corky, Aurelia, Karma, Karthus, Lucian, Nasus, Syndra, Vi, and Volibear. And for my first champion recommendation for the week, I'll actually give that one over to Karma. I know if you watched the tier list from a couple days ago, I moved Karma up it pretty far. And some people liked it and some people didn't, which is fine. It's, uh, it's just what it is. Karma is in a good spot. She's seen some positive changes over recent patches, and that's always a good thing for any champion when they get those. She honestly has a very, very strong early game. It's not that her late game falls off by any means. She has got great poke, honestly, once the game keeps going. I wish her mantra's cooldown was a little bit less, but it's still workable if you're good at landing other abilities to get the cooldown to be lower because that's how it works, in case you don't know how her kit works. But she's a very good champion, whether you want to play her in mid lane or in bot lane. Um, and she's not always been the most popular champion in the world, so there's a good chance that a handful of you probably don't own her. So this would be a good week to try her out if you don't own her since she is now free. My second recommendation for this week is gonna go to Vi. Vi has always been a very solid jungler. She's never been like, so bad you'd be like, oh, why are you playing Vi? She's a bad champion. No, Vi's always been in a good spot. She's always been great. She also then recently, I think, was it two patches ago? She got a small buff, which I like. It was nice. Uh, not really necessary in my opinion, but she got it, and that's what it is. Um, she's always been a great jungler, though. Um, she has got good clear. She's got a shield that helps protect her. She's got some of the best early ganks because her Q's quite powerful in an early gank. Or you'll get people to burn their flashes pretty easily. Um, and when she lands a, a good Q with a couple E's and if she gets her passes off, passive off on her W, um, she'll do, she'll do plenty, of, plenty of damage in a, in a gank. So I like her a lot. She's one of my favorite junglers, like go-to junglers. That's uh, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm saying you should try her out. But she's free. So if you were looking for a new jungler to try out, definitely her. Next up on the docket for champions to pick, I'm gonna give that one over to Lucian. Now, I am a big fan of Lucian this season. Last season I was not. Um, he was pretty low down on the tier lists late last season, um, but with changes to items this season, and uh, he did see small buffs over the duration of when he was further down on the tier list. Um, that did move him back up. They they added some really nice things to his kit, honestly. Now, recently, they did nerf his culling a little bit and took some, some range off of it. Did it ruin him? No, you just can't pick up some kills that honestly were kind of a little bull crappy for you to be picking up. But you just need to be aware that that is a change that he has seen. Besides that, he is one of the best lane bullies if you're, uh, if you're quite skilled with... Uh, chaining your abilities and then your autos together. He can really punish people pretty well. And also, if you're just good with him in lane at picking up CS while poking people with your Q on the back end of it, you can do a surprising amount of damage to them and kind of cause them a lot of pain and struggle when uh, it comes to the laning phase. He's a really strong ADC right now. Um, we'll see how the meta shifts affect, but like I said, those item changes and those positive buffs he got at the end of last season have put him as one of the best ADCs, and he gets picked quite often uh, in the LCS and the LCK and all over the place because of it. So try him out this week if you don't have him. And for my final champion recommendation for this week, I'm actually going to give that one over to Bard. I like Bard more and more as League of Legends continues to have a very longevity life cycle. Um, but the reasons why I'm really liking Bard is he is a champion, and there are other champions that do this, but he's a champion that you could say is quite strong, and you could also say he's quite weak. And what that really means is the sky's the limit for a Bard player who's really good. Essentially, if you can master the champion, you will do some very cool things with Bard. It's not that like his kit is like super, super fancy or anything. It's not like super jumpy rounding and super skill shotty. And I mean, he's got skill shots, obviously, but um, he just, if you use him correctly, he has a lot of utility that's very unique to a support champion. It makes him a blast to play, just in general, like a super fun champion to play. Um, and if you get really good getting just the right angles to stun people, the right magical journeys at the right time for the right plays, whether you're getting away or you're ganking, 
um, landing his ultimate in a manner to catch fights perfectly or break fights up where their players get stuck in it and you've created a 5v2 for a second, all types of things. You can really, like, sky's the limit with Bard when it comes to support. Um, we see it a little bit in the LCS and in other regions where good Bard play really shows. Like, they get the perfect catch and they chain together all their CC and they get their team in the fight how they need to in the right positions. And those fights look amazing. But then, like, you see the bad plays where, like, they shut the turret off when they shouldn't have or, like, they, they just saved someone's life by accident in the wrong manner because the risk-reward on some of his kit, um, like I said, makes it either incredibly easy to look great or incredibly bad all of a sudden, like if you do it wrong. So, um, Sky's the limit with Bard, but he's free this week and he's newer-ish. I mean, he's not new-new anymore, but um, you might want to try him out if you don't have him. Those are the four champions I'm gonna recommend you try out this week. Um, somebody asked in the previous free week, um, why don't I give examples or, or why don't I say why I don't recommend the other champions? Well, as for the other champions, I'll just give little short versions um, on why I didn't recommend them. Um, I actually love Corky, but I've been recommending him in previous weeks. I think he's still great. Aurelia, um, she's not bad right now, but she's not great. She is uh, one of those champions that if you play her a lot, you can be quite good with her. Um, Karthus is honestly a little bit weak right now, but if you play him well, he can obviously still do plenty of damage, and people who play a squishy team copy still great. And I think he's fun personally, but not a lot of people like him. Nasus, I actually just think he's super boring to play. Yeah, you can scale up to late game, but I just, I think he's boring to play. I'm not gonna recommend him, um, typically for that. And then Syndra, she's actually really good, but she, she lacks some AoE burst fight damage. She's really good at single target elimination. She's quite strong if you're good with her, but um, outside of that, if you have to do lots of damage to multiple targets, she's not going to be great for that. And Volibear's fine, honestly, but just not feeling Volibear currently. It's not that he's bad. He's kind of doing a little bit better recently due to the meta shifts, but not really feeling it. But um, there's no specific reason. Honestly, though, when I do Badger's picks, it's because it's Badger's picks. Like, there's no reason. Like, I'm not recommending Corky this week, and I like Corky a lot. I think he's actually one of the strongest champions in this whole rotation. But that doesn't mean I have to recommend him. It's just not what I'm feeling. It's just what I want to pick and tell you guys to try out if you don't have him. So that's it. Um, like I say at the end of every video of these, I say make sure you try out any of the champions that you want to play. Those are just the four I'm recommending. If there's a box around any of these champions' portraits, make sure you click on it. It'll take you to a build or a guide or a video of some sort for the champion for you to look at and watch and enjoy. I wish all of you the very best of luck this week on the Fields of Justice.